going on? Welcome to Reaction Wednesdays on the Bottom Line Podcast, your sports and entertainment destination. I'm Jimmy Finesse, alongside my usual cohort, Mr. Taco, a.k.a. Austin no Myers. We hope you're doing well. You already know what to do. Hit us up on all social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Bottom Line WMCX. Use hashtag Bottom Line. Also, if you are new to this podcast, welcome. And second, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and hit that bell so you don't miss an episode and subscribe on all audio platforms. You already know what to do. Include Jimmy when searching for this podcast. Austin, let's jump straight into this. We've got another yours truly reaction video today. And this is going to be a little bit softer, so we're slowing it down just a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, and a little today, bit. what's that? Just a little bit. <laughs> today we have something off of their debut album called Self Care, which... Like I said in the last Yours Truly video, hit 19 on the album charge, which means it's really, really good. So today we have a song called Half of Me. Now, Austin, you've heard the self-care album before and you've said it's fantastic, so I definitely have to venture into that. But I haven't heard this song yet, and if it's slow, I'm expecting it to be a little bit emotional. Maybe I'm wrong, but we will see. So let's not waste any more time. And let's get soft, just a little bit, with yours truly song, Half of Me. Let's go. The acoustic vibes. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. When the acoustic vibes come in, then that that's how you know. You already know. All right, let's go. Timeout, timeout. If I don't cry by the end of this, I'll be very, very surprised. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. By the way, in case you're wondering why I'm looking down, I have the lyrics so I can follow along to what exactly the song is about, so I can try and analyze it the best I can. But this is beautiful, man. Wow. I'm I'm loving the I'm loving the acoustic. This would definitely be something that I could see. Not this particular song. But something of this vibe could be played at a wedding, like as in a wedding dance. That's what I imagined that this could be. But yeah, yeah, but that's just me, though. But anyway, let's uh, bring it back a little bit and let's keep going here because this is absolutely beautiful. The dream. I know you hate when I'm a mess. I tend to overthink. Why am I always afraid that? Hold up. I think that's an important lyric right there. Those lyrics are so important. Let me repeat those in case you may have 
missed what they just said. I know you hate when I'm a mess. I tend to overthink. Why am I always afraid that one day you'll give up on me? It's too hard and never works. That's just something people say. But I'm still holding on. Yeah, I'm still holding on. That that hits deep, dude. Wow. I mean, I mean, the best way I can analyze it is that she's basically saying that, you know, whoever it is that you're afraid will give up on you, that whether it's a friend, a family member, a significant other, I mean, whoever. I mean, you're always going to have those thoughts that people are going to give up on you. But at the end of the day, if you're still holding on to something, you're, def you're definitely going to make it in life. I mean, I, th I think that's what she's trying to say. Someone correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but that's what I get. But those lyrics, sheesh, wow. I mean, again, I'm, I'm surprised I'm not even crying right now. That's how beautiful this song is. But let's uh, let's keep it going yeah, here. I'm still holding on. Facts. I wanna know if I'm tracing over my scars help with your closure. And this is tougher than I thought. But I want you to know. Austin, I got to admit, man, that got me a little bit. That got me. That almost got me emotional. That was, oh, God. That was beautiful. Th that That is easily, that is easily a top 10 slow song for me. Absolutely outstanding work. I mean, her her voice really shines in this one. Un-freaking believable. And the lyrics, I mean... They, they hit so deep, that almost got me personally. Because, look, I'm just going to say it for the record. As a 28-year-old man who's still single, I feel this a little bit. I do. I really, really do. Austin, I know you have, uh, I know you got a little uh, somebody there. But good luck to you too, by the way. But in all seriousness, I wouldn't, what's that? I wouldn't say yet. Well, well, even still, you get my point. You, you, yeah, you, still, you still got somebody, so. I'm happy for you, but Thank in you. all seriousness, as myself, again, 28 years old and still looking for somebody, I can definitely, uh, I can definitely relate to this. I really, really can, and this I don't mean to. Wait, what's that? This is pretty much the song that helped me through my last breakup. So mm, there you go. But I mean, listen, when I when I think about my past relationships and how they didn't work out, I mean, I mean, yeah, they didn't work, but. If I didn't get out of them, I'd be even more miserable. And I, I didn't want that for myself. And when I listen to this song, I mean, it kind of uh, it kind of takes me back to uh, those days where I just think about the good memories and just kind of move on with my life, you know? All you can do. Exactly. But, again, I'd be lying if I said this song didn't get to me because it really, really did. 10 out of 10. 
it's it's beautiful. Ooh. That's all I gotta say. Ooh. Ten out of ten. Ooh. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Ooh. Yeah. You heard me like correctly. I like I said, this is one of uh my this is one of three songs off of self kit that I wrote for real legal life. It's definitely yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to go back and listen to their entire self-care album. Maybe I'll do an album review. Who knows? But anyway, by the way, if you do want to see if you do want to see an album review on uh yours truly self-care, let me know down in the comments. I'd be very curious to uh to see what you think if you want us to do that. And also, if you do want to see full album reactions in the future, because we have been talking about that, actually. If that's something you want to see, let us know. We can make that happen. Bottom line is, this song, Yours Truly, Half of Me, beautiful. 10 out of 10. And that's the bottom line. Let us know what you thought about this song. Again, down in the comments on YouTube and on all social media, at bottom line WMCX. And be sure you leave a like on this video as well. It helps out tremendously with the wonderful algorithm but all right, that's beside the point but i'm gonna get on out of here before i actually start getting emotional for mr taco i'm jimmy finesse this is the bottom line podcast and we'll see you in the next one peace and take care